So now, now comes the real draw, Mike Rother. Nice to see you all. Um, thank you, Sylvain and Beth, for such a great job, at least on the Toyota Kata side of the conference. I haven't had a chance to go over to the TWI side. And also thank you, like Mike said, uh, thank you, Lean Frontiers. Katacon, nine, nine years, that's pretty cool. Uh, next year would be ten. Maybe we can do some fun stuff. Um, I was asked to, you know, make some community comments or, or that kind of thing. Uh, what I have here is some notes I've made today. Uh, I did not prepare anything in advance, so I'm going to also read from my notes a little bit. Uh, don't worry, it's not too long. So we did some research uh, many years ago. We studied Toyota's management approach, and that generated some books that you may have heard of, uh, presentations and videos to share the findings of that research, uh, and also, very importantly, we ultimately created uh, and tested and created some practice routines or starter kata that anyone can use to try to develop a similar way of thinking and managing in their organizations, which suits their context and, and, and their organizations. So the first book was Toyota Kata, and the second book, which came out much later with the practice routines, uh, is the Toyota Kata Practice Guide. And then Garrett mentioned Toyota Kata Culture, and uh, Michael talked about... Uh, two more books coming about Toyota Kata, which is Tilo and Jeff's book, Giving Wings to Her Team, and the Zingerman's Mail Order book, Engaging Your People, Engaging the Team at Zingerman's Mail Order. Uh, and you've already heard about uh, Sylvain's new book, uh, which is uh, Bringing Scientific Thinking to Life. Uh, Sylvain's book is a great book for getting started if anyone wants to know what Toyota Kata is about but doesn't want to read a detailed practice guide. Anyway, we put all that stuff out, but we didn't know where it would go and we still don't know where it will go. So these are interim comments at best, kind of a slice of information based on observing the conference today. Alex talked about psychology. We're driven by our habits and paradigms. It's kind of sobering, but it's true, and, and more and more people are really, There's a lot of brain stuff out more and more uh, in, in the uh, public reading market. Um, we're driven by our habits and paradigms, and, and they're automatic. Right? We don't even know about them a lot. People talk about biases and so forth. Now, the next point, of course, is that you can deliberately practice to develop new habits. So you are kind of stuck with those habits and paradigms, but if you deliberately, consciously practice a different way of thinking, a different way of acting, you can modify those habits and paradigms. And that's your lever. That's your lever in your life. I like to say that's your free will. That's where free will is. You can deliberately practice something else. That's your lever. It is an indirect lever. I can't change my habits directly. I have to practice something different to replace the habits I have now. Now, if you're going to practice deliberately, you need something to practice. And I think what's interesting about that is if you practice specific solutions, you don't know if those solutions are going to be relevant tomorrow. A good way to think about it is what do we teach our children? We don't know what world they're going to live in and what kind of problems and issues and goals and situations they're going to face, right? So if we teach solutions that we know today as a habit, we're always going to do Kanban, that kind of thing. This is a little bit why Toyota tools, Toyota's tools didn't work so well if we just focused on the tools. So you need something to practice. Well, how about practicing a way of developing solutions, not solutions itself? So people can develop their own solutions in their own context. Uh, which is known as, and Beth and I like to refer to this, it's known as a meta skill. It's a content-neutral skill that you can use, your team can use in your context to find your path to your goals, overcoming the particular obstacles that you face, right? It's a way of navigating, and really it's a practical, everyday form of scientific thinking. So the phrase here that's been used a lot here is scientific thinking. Another phrase I like you might like better is thinking scientifically. It, that sounds even less technical. We're not talking about the scientific method, by the way. The scientific method, in my opinion, is just another starter kata that you give people to practice so that they develop a mindset and a habit. There are lots of different starter kata. All right, so the news cycle, the 24-hour news cycle. Life is getting more fast-paced. Life is unpredictable, more unpredictable than it used to be. The world is changing. We have big problems, all of these things. We constantly discover realities beyond our current perceptions. It's faster paced than we thought. It's unpredictable. The world is changing. There are big problems, right? You must do something. How do we deal with that? 
How do we deal with that coming at us? Do we ignore it? I've tried. It's hard. It's on the news all the time. It's hard to ignore it. Uh, Do we get mad? There's plenty of that going on. Uh, Do we get anxious? Sure, sure. Do we freak out? Um, My impression of this gathering, and every katakan has kind of a different feel to it, and you kind of check the oil level and say, where are we at? This katakan to me has a peaceful, gentle, people-oriented feel. And it's kind of a surprise. It's not a technical feel. It's not a, we talk about the steps to, you know, practicing and starter cod and stuff like that. But overall, it's gentler and more peaceful. Uh, Deandra said, enjoy these problems as opportunity in the making. Kind of a gentle statement, a way of dealing with those things coming at us. Uh, Tilo said, you can watch people change and grow. Those are two things that kind of struck me as uh, uh, representative of the, the feeling of this conference. One of my favorite Buddhist sayings is, before enlightenment, chopping wood, carrying water. After enlightenment, chopping wood, carrying water. You know, before Toyota Kata, it's fast-paced. It's unpredictable. The world is changing. We have big problems. After practicing Toyota Kata, it's fast-paced. It's unpredictable. The world is changing. We have big problems. But we're calmer about how we react to that. And we are more effective at navigating those things coming at us. And maybe even they are opportunity. So it feels like this conference is about Toyota Kata, that you're a leader who enables your team's process of discovery. And that we can be calm and gentle as those things come at us. We have to move fast. I'm not saying it's easy. It's hard. Uh, But we can be calm and gentle uh, as those things come at us. And we deal with them. We handle them because we've practiced a scientific way of thinking and acting. And I appreciate that about this conference, and uh, I'm curious to see where it goes next year. Thank you.